Hi, welcome to the Contra Costa County and Tri-Valley Elder Care Channel. My name is Stephanie. I'm the Marketing Director for Horizon Elder Law, as well as today's host for the Contra Costa County and Tri-Valley Elder Care Channel. Today I'm here with Jan Oldenburg. Welcome, Jan. Thanks, Steph. Yeah. She is the President and Founder of Senior Visionary Services. Senior Visionary Services recently celebrated their 10 years of assisting seniors with relocating when living at home is no longer a safe option. Jan and her team help in placement services from San Francisco to Sonoma County down to Santa Clara County. And Jan has worked with seniors since 1997 and is extremely passionate about what she does. Jan, what led you to your decision to work with seniors? Stephanie, it was over several years actually, but I really got the opportunity after I was able to sell my business up in Washington State and come down to California to be closer to my mom who lived in Walnut Creek. And I decided at that time that I was going to change careers and go into a, a business that I felt really needed to have um, uh, someone that had uh, creativity and understanding of seniors. And as my mother at that point was in her 80s, um, I looked at her and I felt that if I could be of influence to other seniors to have them live healthier lives in a safe environment and to give them the motivation, help give them the motivation to do um, things with their lives that would be very advantageous, I would do it. And so I had the opportunity to join a, um, an assisted living uh, corporation uh, that is local. Actually, it now has um, about 12 communities. And I opened up several of these assisted living communities for this local company. But it was mom that really influenced me and her way of being so um, active as an older adult. She passed away three and a half years ago at the age of 100. Wow. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. And, it, and she said, you know, it all, um, it all is in attitude. Mm -hmm. And of course, genetics makes a little bit of difference, I would mm -hmm. say. Uh, she never thought of herself as an age. She says age is a number and mine is unlisted. Mm -hmm. And it worked for her. That's great. So, yeah. So that's the way I started. That was uh, back, um, seems so many years ago, but um, uh, I've, I've grown as far as knowledge and I've also grown as far as my own company now. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we've worked with Jan over the years and we've seen her work and she does very, very well. She's extremely professional. Her entire team is wonderful. Thank you. Um, they give tours of communities uh, on a regular basis, providing clients with multiple choices in their searches for a place for their mom or dad or any loved one. And they also follow up with the clients after they've moved in to make sure that things are going well and your parents are happy. And not to mention the fact that the service is all complimentary. Yes, it is. <laughs> People can't believe that. but. My mission was to help seniors and their families, and I know how expensive it is to have care. Mm -hmm. I know how the home care industry has so changed, even in this last year, with more regulations as far as wage and salary, uh, insurance, and all of this that have actually forced a lot of people um, out of their homes because of the high cost of home care mm -hmm. and into assisted living because oftentimes it is less expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I wanted them to use their money mm -hmm. for the care mm -hmm. and not to pay me. I could be paid a nominal amount, I'll never get rich on it, but a nominal amount by the assisted living community where we place the person. Mm -hmm. And that's true with all of my associates. Mm -hmm. And we are in uh, several counties and this is the way we all operate and, and we all are professionals that have had over 15 years experience each one of us in the assisted living industry so 
That's it, great. It works. And I've met yeah. many of your associates. You have. And yeah, wonderful. you have. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, yes. And I have a new uh, person, too. Um, I'm in um, several counties, by the way. I'm in Sonoma County with a nurse, re registered nurse, uh, in Alameda, Contra Costa, Santa Clara, Monterey. But my new associate is a retired uh, Kaiser social worker who also is in education mm -hmm. and research with Kaiser. Great. So I really am so pleased with the people that work with me. I That's truly great. am. They're yeah. great people. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is looking for a new place for their parent or mm -hmm. loved one, what are some things that they should consider when they're looking for a placement person, such as yourself? Oh, for a placement person. Okay. Well, first, I think that when we look at when we start looking at places, keep in mind, most of us are not professionals in this arena, in this industry. Uh, and I say that because we work even with doctors and nurses and other people in the medical profession, but they're not um, attuned to what is going on in this type of industry. So I'm finding that people really need to have the trust in a, um, a placement organization, let's say. I don't know if you can have trust in a placement organization that is over the internet. For some reason, I think that there is some kind of a lack of, <laughs> of um, familiarization, trust, um, feeling of um, bonding, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also relationships relationships like in any industry are so important um, but also just the knowledge of what is really around um, in that area mm -hmm. uh, so so what we do um, we look at not only the care side but also the psychological and emotional side mm -hmm. of that senior what the wishes of the family are what the financial capabilities are. Mm -hmm. We look at all of those things, and you can only do that um, by assessing the senior and getting to know the family on a one-to-one -one basis. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, uh, so as far as how people would judge what kind of a placement organization to work with, I think that you have to realize that um, you're going to be working with just one organization, not with several, because that's just not fair to anyone. Um, and allow them to make the contacts with the uh, facilities or communities, because that's how they're paid, in, in, at least in my situation. And if you um, disagree, uh, to be able to have that conversation. Um, but that can only be done if it is uh, on a one-to-one -one basis. Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the other things that I know is unknown in the, <laughs> for, for most individuals is mm -hmm. the negotiation factor. Ah, yes. yes. You're able to negotiate in ways that mm -hmm. us individuals, including myself, have no idea what questions to ask and what so yeah. Let's elaborate. Yeah, um, that's a good point, Stephanie. Um, one of the reasons that we uh, go on tour with families um, is not only to look around the community again to make sure it's meeting our expectation, because of course we preview all of these places on a continual basis and give feedback to these communities if we see something that can be improved upon. But uh, we are also on tour with the family so that we can make sure that all questions are answered, especially when it comes to cost. Um, and a lot of times families don't ask the right questions uh, or incomplete. And sometimes the uh, marketing person, not that they're trying to withhold anything, but they do so many tours, they may forget to say something unless they're asked. Mm -hmm. For instance, is there a community fee? How much is it? So a lot of times people don't even think about a community fee. They think, oh, it's a month-to-month -month, uh, fee and da-da-da-da-da. Um, so we make sure that all questions are asked so that when you 
come out of that tour and that first contact with that community that you have a much clearer idea mm -hmm. about all of these factors of care, of costs. Mm -hmm. um, and we can negotiate, getting back to your question, we can negotiate costs to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. Because we know the industry and because we also work with them on a continual basis, if there is any negotiation, they will work with us to give that to, uh, to our clients because we bring in other people to mm -hmm. them. Um, that is true with the board and cares or residential care communities as well as the larger communities. If there isn't a negotiation, we tell you. So I can't promise you, but I really do try. Well, that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. Well, without using any actual names, can you share an example of a particular client that you've worked with and a success story of placement? And mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know, it's really interesting because we work with a lot of complex cases. I think one of the reasons is because people are living longer, they're living longer in their own homes. Uh, and of course, that's where they would prefer staying. But sometimes it's not possible. Um, but when people come to us, it usually is a little bit more complex, like I say. So, for instance, I was working with a fiduciary as well as a, a husband of the senior. Um, neither of them were getting along well together. And there were other family members involved that it became a battleground actually and that's really unfortunate because this because the senior then is somewhere out there you know mm -hmm. and so um, I was able to bring the um, the family together so they understood the importance of focusing in on that seniors needs mm -hmm. and putting differences aside um, I also uh, invited the husband to tour a community that I felt would best suit not only his wife's needs but his needs too. Mm -hmm. And we did place the the wife there. Um, it worked out it's worked out extremely well. I see her all the time as I tour the community it's still and um, and she's really good there. She's great and he is so happy and it's just worked out tremendously well. Um, a number of times um, I use also home care agencies when it comes to transitioning a person from their home to a community. Mm -hmm. And um, that's because change is always difficult. It's nice to be able to have some kind of continuity with a person, and especially the one that's been taking care of you at home, come into the community and being a companion to you there and helping to get you mm -hmm. uh, uh, transitioned. Mm -hmm. So I've done that in a number of instances too. Well, that's great. Yeah, so there are a lot of a lot of things along that line. Everyone is different. There are so many different um, scenarios. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we know Jan and her team, they really do go above and beyond. They do go the extra mile Thank you. for their clients. We try. And in, in addition yeah. to that, Jan is a wealth of knowledge with resources in the communities and she knows the right people to contact and all of those yeah. things as well. So is there anything else you'd like to share? Well, um, I think that just for you to feel comfortable in calling, if you have any questions at all in regards to the industry, um, about your parents, how to handle things, we do get involved in support groups too. Feel free to use my phone number, my cell phone. It's Hinged at the hip, it's 925-699-2295, and I'll be happy to talk to you. There's no obligation at all. I'm also putting on some uh, free, uh, or complimentary, I should say, uh, tours of assisted living communities uh, in Contra Costa County. But we do this on a continual basis in all of our counties. Um, this is just more of a structured way of helping seniors and providing transportation for them too in order to be able to see these communities so that they can help make their own decisions mm -hmm. when it comes to the next step for them. And if you've never been to any of these assisted living communities or boarding cares, there are some really beautiful communities. There are. 
It's not the old thought yeah. process in regards to, oh, these places are so grungy, they're terrible, and da 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 da. Things have changed over the years. I've, I've yeah. walked into several of them, and yeah. I would love to live there myself, but I'm not quite ready. Me but too, they're but. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, so thank you so much for your time. And thank you, Stephanie. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. It's been thank a you. pleasure it. learning more about you and Senior Visionary Services. Thank you. If you'd like more information about Jan or Senior Living, sorry, no, Senior Visionary Services, you can find all of their contact information, including their phone number and a link to their website on the Elder Care channel. Or you can call them toll free at 888 seven five eight six seven one nine thank you for watching and we hope you have a wonderful day